What is déjà vu? Uh, is it is it some kind of a uh, burst of old memories or some kind of program that was written which person is looking at at that moment? No, it's just a brain. There is nothing to it. There is nothing supernatural. There is nothing supernatural exists. Our brain processes these things in that way. We're not entering anything, not even, not even a future. We always remain in present. The only thing is that we can ac accelerate this present with help of um, stronger influence of upper light. As we know, it uh, the light constantly shines upon the desire which is created, and that desire is gradually, gradually evolves through its uh, con uh, constant in influence. And the desire evolves, besides it evolves uh, unevenly, because it consists of four stages of, of evolvement, development, inanimate, vegetative, uh, animal, and human levels. These levels also exist in inanimate objects, as well as in uh, plants, animals, and humans. Or you can simply number, number them uh, first, second, third, and fourth. So it evolves up to the fourth stage. Uh, then we have the quantum leap, leap, and uh, again, next four stages, and again, quantum leap, and so on. And the light evenly, constantly influences the desire, uh, which evolves in such uneven matter, quantita quantitatively and qualitative qualitatively. Uh, when it evolves uh, through stages of one, two, three, um, and four it evolves uh, quantitatively, and when it leaps to the next level, that uh, that's uh, when the leap, uh, quantum leap takes place, the quant uh, qualitative change. Th though quantitative and qualitative changes are always interdependent. So, uh, what uh, Kabbalah, Kabbalah offers, uh, the only thing, there is no witchcraft, no magic, and nothing else besides one thing. When you understand how the world is made, and where you're going, and you beforehand physically connect, go through this training, put yourself through it, uh, you realize that you work with light, you sort of attract it, you desire it. You know that light works on you to gather you together with others, to pack together. And if you do these attempts on your own, then sort of uh, you sort of accelerate the influence of light on you because you actively participate. Although particip your participation is very small, but nevertheless, the light influences you uh, more effectively. That's all uh, Kabbalah offers. It's just like in our world, when uh, we nurture our chi uh, child, when we want to do something with him, some kind of procedures, exercises, and so on, meaning we accelerate his development. Accelerate his development. And besides, we do it through the good way. In any case, he will live his life. In, in any case, he has his own program, own destiny, which is... Uh, but which is still depends on others, depends on, uh, depends on in which system of interconnections with others he is in, because we are all interconnected, but, but we are trying to supply him with the best tools to go through life in the best possible way. Here is the same. Uh, there is nothing special here, just, uh, just like that we simply work. And such technique is called Kabbalah, acceleration of uh, our evolvement through a good way. Besides that, there is nothing. And instead, people made up here, of course, uh, uh, some kind of secretive conspiracy and so on. But I hope that uh, the, uh, the uniqueness of the system will be revealed because it allows us, like with a small child, to go through a uh, good path very quickly, with good pace and in the best manner of development, to gain uh, cleverness, to gain strength, uh, and in good health, 
in a good connection with others to come to good results and not to look for somewhere in dungeon like a lost little orphan. But there was, uh, here's we are not talking about some kind of secret. There is a, there, there are particular states when a person clearly sees that he's seen it somewhere before and heard it somewhere. The, the deja vu, you know. Yes, it's a problem of, of, of brain work. It's a problem of brain work. So what? It's a problem? Well, if you have, if you have this question, then it is a problem. But nothing beyond that. When the brain begins to correlate uh, different things and it perceives that this happened before and this from its past memories and it begins to collide, you know how they make it in a video, it starts to collide one fragment onto another, different pictures and that's how you get your deja vu. Uh, but on the other hand, there is uh, there are also presentiments, the presentiments, insights. Undoubtedly, it's uh, when a person, with help of his intellect or his sensation, that he is emerged into a system of nature. He feels that now is supposed to happen this or that action. He might begin to feel the thoughts of others, or he uh, foresees waves that come to him, it all because we dwell in one um, unified system of nature. And therefore, by looking at preliminary characteristics, we can guess uh, the next event. There are people that have these abilities uh, fully developed, like Messing, or like, uh, how do you call them, uh, Bedouins, uh, that, that, uh, that live in deserts. Their sense of nature was developed to the extreme. Messing could see years to the future. But that doesn't mean that he could change anything. He doesn't matter, it doesn't mean he simply could predict. He sensed that these events will occur occur. But still, all in all, he was a fat fatalist. Meaning the fact that the event will occur wasn't a question for him, but Kabbalah, uh, Kabbalah allows us to make this event, it'll happen in any case, but, but it will take place in a different form, in a softer form. It all depends on whether we are going to be gathered all together, we're going to relate in a good way to each other, to our advancement, or we're going to leave things up to our ego's hands that will continue torturing us.